Meet Little Lisa, Adam Blair, Rose LaGuardia, Michael, and Steven, the five members of the band Dot Dot Dot. You might recall the Chicago-based group found themselves in the top five on Fox's 2007 reality show, The Next Great American Band. You might even remember Rose LaGuardia, the Chamorro girl from Guam that left the island back in 2001 and now plays lead guitar for the group. So how did they come up with their band name? Frontman Adam Blair says he was teaching drums at a store when a kid approached him one day, saying he formed a band called Dot Dot Dot. So what happened next? I'll let Adam finish his story. He goes through this entire story. The next week he comes in, and I swear it looked like, you know, a family member had passed away or something. And I'm like, what's wrong? He's like, my band broke up. I'm like, dot, dot, dot broke up? And he goes, yeah. And I'm like, have the name? He goes, absolutely. So, yeah. And when we got on the show, all of a sudden he was happy as heck that he had that name. Adam explains that dot, dot, dot was formed in March of 2007 after he convinced Lisa and Rose to hop on board. Since then, Lisa says their loyal fan base follows them anywhere. That's why she mentions that they try to spend time with fans whenever possible and connect with them through their songs. There's stories that people tell us about things that we've done for them, changing their lives and getting them out of their houses their, through their tragedies that they've had. They've identified with some of the songs and just loved us for, you know, what we bring to the table is just having fun and letting go and forgetting about, you know, we're an escape for people. So what about the band's resident Guam girl who also used to play for local band Blame Adam? Rose says her transition to life as a rock star has been nothing but blessed. It's a blessing to be a part of that in itself. And then moving to the mainland and playing with Lisa in another band and then moving on to Dot Dot Dot, it's, it's been wonders. I'm extremely blessed to be able to play with everybody here. Everybody in this band is brilliant. And it's been, the last years of my life has been incredible. While they are booked for almost every weekend in the mainland this year, Lisa adds they are honored to be here on Guam and promises they will try to come back on a yearly basis, especially because it's important to her that Rose sees her family. From the day that I started working with her and got, began to learn about Guam, I wanted to make sure that she got to come home and show her family and the Islanders that you, know, you can leave and you can come back home and never ever forget your roots, never forget where you come from, ever. And it just was really important for me to see this happen for her because it's family is so, so incredibly important. In the end, the band is humbled by their success, but Rose believes success is not about being rich or famous. In fact, she wants to send this message to the island's young people. We were on a great ride prior to the show, and it was only catapulting from there. And, um, and I think that rich with love and fans is, is more than we can ever ask for. And that you can do it as long as you believe it. So perception is reality. And if you want it to happen, you can make it happen, for sure, I think. In my opinion, I think I would like the, ki the kids to be able to, to, to know that. And Guam is not just a small island.